right, Dr. Cabral, thank you so much for, for your time this afternoon. My question is really, you showed us during your time at DOH, no? six months, but a lot of progress is done, and you showed us that you don't need a reproductive health bill in place uh, to, to have programs where uh, the DOH will talk about different options when it comes to family planning and contraception. Can we elaborate on that a bit? Well, the reproductive health law was necessary because from administration to administration, the policies of the executive branch may differ. And uh, reproductive health law ensures that there is a uniform policy that, going, that is going to be implemented. If the administration is in favor of reproductive health, there is really no need for a reproductive health law. If the Department of Health uh, Secretary uh, is in favor of reproductive health, then there is no need for a law because the secretary is going to do whatever is necessary to ensure informed choice and availability of commodities for those who cannot afford it. But the current administration is very supportive. Yes, so that uh, at this point, uh, activities that will promote reproductive health will continue whether or not there is a law. Mm -hmm. it, the law is still necessary because yes. the next administration may not have the same kind of uh, persuasion, may not have the same kind of opinion about informed choice and about the obligation of government to provide commodities to people who need it and can't afford it. Uh, at this stage, are we um, optimistic about the passage of the RH bill in the upcoming 15th Congress? Well, I was optimistic last Congress and I'm optimistic also, but I think we have to wait until it is really passed to let our guards down.